LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. At T plus 40 seconds, we've got a beautiful view of Falcon 9 successfully lifting right, off. The tree is nominal. From pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. Now, in about a minute, we'll have three events happening. That'll be max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent, so slowing down the vehicle helps us pass through the short period. And that'd be main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO. Stage separation. Now, MECO is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Max Q. And there's that call out that we've passed through mass, Max Q. And that's where the first stage separates from the second stage. First stage will start making its way. First stage will start making its way back to Earth for landing while second stage continues on its journey with the third event. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And the uh, ignition and throttle up. And there you just saw Miko and stage separation on your left hand screen. On your right hand screen is the second stage. We're waiting on fairing deploy coming up here shortly. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you could see the fairing halves have been deployed and you could see them falling back to Earth. And with that stage separation, that confirms the eighth successful flight for this Falcon 9 booster on ascent. So very exciting. Um, now as stage two heads towards its targeted drop off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. And that first burn is called the entry burn. That's where three of the nine M1D engines will reignite. And this helps. Of signal Bermuda. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second and final burn for the first stage is the landing burn. And Seco. And there's that call out for Seco 1. And now that second stage is going to coast. A signal to Finland. Second stage is now going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. And we're just about 20 seconds or so away from that entry burn on the first stage. You can see those grid fins are deployed, helping to steer the vehicle. And we do use nitrogen gas burst uh, for attitude control. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. There's that call out and visual of the entry burn on the first stage on your left hand screen. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that concludes the entry burn on first stage. And we're just about 30 seconds away from that landing burn start on the first stage. And what you're looking at on your screen is a nice view of the second stage. Still looking nominal.
stage one, landing burn startup. There's that call out, landing burn has started on first stage. Let's see if we could Terminal stick guidance. this landing. There's a view of the drone ship on your left hand screen. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Looks like we lost that live view on the first stage. We'll wait for confirmation. And there you can see on your screen, we have landed the Falcon 9 for the eighth time. This is our life leader. What an amazing morning. That is an awesome view. Second stage is now going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. And while that happens, take a look at this. Uh, the animation will have an animation showcasing where we are in the coast phase. So we, we will see you back here at T plus 45 minutes for that second stage relay. Welcome back to the webcast for Starlink. We had an on-time liftoff this morning at 8.02 a.m. Eastern Time, followed by the completion of the first eighth flight and recovery for this booster. We're now just waiting for the relight of our second stage, or SES-2, coming up here in a few seconds. It'll be a short one-second burn. It's very quick, but it does go a long way for this second stage. Nominal orbit insertion. And there we heard that call out for good nominal insertion. Again, we just had SES-2 and SECO-2. We have another 15-minute coast phase before we deploy our next batch of satellites into orbit. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and four minutes. Welcome back to our webcast. Now we're coming up on the deployment of our stack of Starlink satellites in just a few seconds here. So we will listen in and watch live Payload deploy confirmed. What you are seeing live are those Starlink satellites in space drifting away from our second stage, which confirms deployment. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array, and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. And thanks to all of our viewers, as well as all of those in the US, Canada, and the UK who ordered Starlink under our public beta program. If you're interested in being a part of our beta program, head over to starlink.com and sign up. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.